My dear students, today we are going to, I am going to touch another topic of your topic, of your syllabus, 11th English, topic number 15, uh, poem, uh, the mosquito written by, the poet is D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence, uh, this poem, the mosquito, is taken from D. H. Lawrence's collection of poems titled Birds, Beasts and Flowers. The poet is famous novelist and poet of the 20th century. The poem uses certain poetic technique. technique. The poet uses a poetic technique called a pathetic fallacy. Describes human emotions to animals and objects. In this poem, the poet talks about about the mosquito by treating it as fellow companions. This poem is in the form of assumed conversation between the poet and the mosquito. The poet raises many questions to the mosquito by using the second person narration, you as you. Regarding its tricks, the poet D. H. Lawrence, the most influential and controversial literary figures of the 20th century, there were Various books, almost more, almost 40 books to his credit. After his first major novel, Sons and Lovers, which was published in 1913, he was prosecuted for obstinacy for publishing The Rainbow in 1915. Other major works of D. H. Lawrence include Women in Love, 1921, The Plumed Serpent, 1926, and Lady Chatterley's Lover, 1928. In all his works, he celebrated, the poet D. H. Lawrence celebrated his vision of the natural whole human being. Opposing the artificiality of modern industrial society, with it is dehumanization of life and love. In this poem, the poet raises many questions to the mosquito by using the second person narration you regarding the tricks of the mosquito. How a small insect uh, traveled the life of others. The poet calls the mosquito as monster means a mister and question when did it start its tricks. He asked the mosquito the question when did it start its tricks. He observes the moment of the mosquito and comments about its high and studied legs. He has a mosquito that he asks how many tricks do you do, how many tricks do you do, how many tricks do you do. और आपकी टंग इतनी पतली है एंड आप का आप तो है ही नहीं कुछ आप कैसे इतने ज्यादा परेशान करते हो इंसानों को या बाकी जो जिनको आप तकलीफ देते हो द पॉइंट आस्कस इट हाउ यू ले हाउ इट लिफ्ट्स इट इज वेटलेसनेस बॉडी वेटलेस बॉडी एंड स्टैंड्स अपॉन हिम विदाउट हिज नॉलेज कैसे मेरे जब आपके आप में तो कोई वजन है ही नहीं और जब आप मुझे आते हैं फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ बाइटिंग विदाउट यू आर नमिंग माई सेंसेस ही क्वेश्चन इज वेदर इट इज ए फैंथम एज इट कम्स एंड गोज विदाउट अदर अदर नॉलेज द पॉइट हर्ड समाइम बिफोर पॉइट हर्ड a woman calling mosquito as a winged victory, symbolizing its action and trap. The poet exaggerates, exaggerates that the mosquito listens this and smiles at the woman who called him, who called it the winged victory. The poet 
again raises doubt again raises doubt to the mosquito that how can it put such cruelty in such a half transparent weak look ab to ho hi nahi koi lekin how much you possess how much how you are possessing such type of cruelty within yourself it is surprising that with its thin wings and legs it could say like a heron in water and in air do it looks according to poet the mosquito looks no, as nothingness but but it surrounded by evil aura the mosquito's secret moments in search of prey give a kind of numbness on the poet's mind the poet wonders how its tricks and magic to be invisible the mosquito is very tricky it prowls it circles it surrounds around the poet's around the poet to approach him to devour his blood due to its greediness for human blood the poet says that the mosquito is eagerly greedy for the human blood he calls it as a gull on wings that means an evil spirit who eats dead bodies the poet further describes the action of mosquito it stands on its thin legs settle on him and looks at him cunningly in sideways and by knowing its awareness by it of its presence it specks him later by understanding his anger it flies quickly from that place ho oh, people you people are uh, getting it this bluff game continues between man and mosquito how superbly the poet portrays the mosquito his intentions his evil moments just like a game just like a play a beautiful game the poet calls the mosquito as evil as it it's bugle in the poet's ear is an advantage for it and it increases his sudden hatred the poet calls it is activity of biting as a bad policy and asks a reason for such behavior as others say it is a natural for mosquito the poet believes in the destiny of protecting the innocent according to the poet the sound of the mosquito is like a slogan which the mosquito makes as a yell of trump for as a yell of, as a sign of victory for scratching his scalp for mosquito blood is super magical liquid it sucks blood and stands for second in imposed forgetfulness it is in silence without any movement stuffing blood without permission the poet feels that the weightlessness of the mosquito saves it from getting killed such thoughts develop his ego to kill it in order to improve his power to prove the power of human beings he kills it and it leaves a stain a small stain on of his sucked blood and the mosquito disappear as a dim smudge in the beginning of the poem the poet looks at the mosquito as powerful almost equal to humans but in the end it becomes nothing thanks have a nice day this